Well, hello. I'm Steve Caddick, and uh, this uh, video demonstration is um, I'm going to uh, show you some tools that I use to remove frets from a fingerboard. Um, the first one is a little pair of uh, nippers, and this is going to help me get the first uh, the frets just a little bit above the edge of the fingerboard. And the second tool is this little honey right here. This was made for me back in the 1970s by my friend Paul Simpson. And this edge actually slides onto the fingerboard. And if you can see that little section right there, it, uh, let me get it down. I'm going to un, un, uncurl that a little bit. That edge right there is very, very thin. And uh, those two pieces of metal touch very closely together. So I slide that on to the fret. And then by using these knurled knobs, what they do is uh, it's going to pull that fret up off the the fingerboard. See how that's slowly raising? Well that raises up and pulls the fret out. The fret will be in here and this will stay against the fingerboard and what that does is that helps to prevent chipping. Um, the less chips you have, the less work you have on, on fixing the fingerboard. So here we go. I'm going to demonstrate this. Let me line up the um, the fingerboard so you can see which is right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to get it right to that next fret. And let's see how that all goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my nippers and get it underneath the fret and just squeeze it a little bit and what that's going to do is give me a little bit of space to get under that fret with my fret puller. And that's all there is to that. Then I'm going to slide this on to the first spot. Oh, i got to get it down all the way. There we go. I'm going to put my glasses on here. So I get it in a little bit. And then I, I twist that first knurl right here, that one. And what that does is that helps to raise the fret slightly. And then I back it off and I slide it on a little bit more. Just give it a quarter of a turn, back it off, slide it in a little bit further. Same thing again, raise it just a little bit. I'm pushing with my thumb to slide it onto the fingerboard. As soon as it feels a little bit of tension, I give that a quarter of a turn. I go a little bit more. Another quarter turn, back it off. Now I've got the whole fret on there. And I'm going to gently... Now I'm holding it down here because I want that bottom surface against that fingerboard so that it doesn't move. All I want to move is this inside section that's going to pull the fret up and out. And I'm just going to go a little bit at a time until it feels, I feel that little release. And I felt the release. And, uh, the, and the fret is right, right in there, right where it needs to be. Oh, where am I here? And that fret is right in that space. You can see the tang. That's where it is. And that is my little fret puller. Now I like to use a little uh, Q-tip to push that fret back out of that space. There it is there. To push that fret back out of that space. I can grab a hold of it. And there it is. And that's my fret puller.